Wednesday, I take Sundays off. Um, today, I will be doing a lot of mobility work and some meal prep. Uh, the last few weeks, I've been completely meal prepping from start to finish the entire week, all in one. Uh, today, I don't think I'm going to do that. Just don't feel like it. I'm going to hit the grocery store in just a minute. Um, I've made a list of what I want to make for prepped lunches for the week, which I'm going to do tomorrow. That's the only thing I'm going to prep this week. And I've decided what I'm going to make for dinner Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I like to just make the same thing for two days and eat leftovers the second day, so I'm not cooking so much. Um, I spend about 25 hours, 30 hours a week in the gym between lifting, boxing, regular cardio, mobility. So I don't have a ton of time to cook, but I gotta make it work. These last few weeks, I have been on a cut. Just a very small deficit. Uh, so far, the scale has not changed at all, but uh, my composition has changed a lot. I realize today more more changes have happened than I really expected when I compared the pictures from two weeks ago that I took. So that's exciting. Doing it really slow, but been very consistent. That's kind of the name of the game in flexible dieting is consistency. Um, sure, you could uh, go eat a ton of calories one night and then eat like just bro foods for a couple days and maybe get similar results, but you're not going to get that increase in your metabolism speed. You're not going to train your body to run off of more fuel, which is what you need to build muscle. Like you have to eat to build muscle and I need to keep getting stronger. So calories are still high, but very consistent. Um, using more of a low fat intake, high carb for now, doing some carb cycling, taking a refeed day every week, which is the best day ever. Um, I just took my refeed day on Friday. 340 grams carbs it was the best ended up hitting a snatch PR double on that day so that was exciting uh, food is fuel I'm going to be taking progress pictures at least every two weeks maybe every week but definitely every two weeks um, it's really cool to see my body changing even though I'm still just as heavy but that just means that there's been fat loss and muscle gain, which is kind of ideal for a weightlifter. Um, I do compete in the 63 kilo class, so I have to stay within my weight class. Um, not competing again till September, so I have some time to not worry about making weight and just focus on fueling my workouts right now. I'm still in a high volume phase of training, so fuel for training is really important right now. If I'm lacking energy, I'm not going to be able to perform in those workouts. So. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself for this last month, like, being really diligent about counting my macros again because for a while I just didn't care that much once I got to, like, a stable point of my hormones. Being at a good level, my weight was where it needed to be, where it was easy to cut and make weight for meats. Um, but now I'm trying to focus on, like, getting lean again and just literally being the absolute best athlete I can be. So now it's Monday. I bought everything I need for the week at the grocery store yesterday. I'm planning to prep my lunch for the week. I'm making a recipe off of pinchofyum.com. It's spicy chicken and sweet potatoes. So about to get that started. I uh, just got done with some morning cardio. I'm gonna lift later today. Usually I train twice on Mondays and Fridays, but been kind of draining going to the gym twice a day, so I'm going to be combining those sessions. I did that on Friday and it worked out a lot better. Even though it's really long and probably harder, I take away like a whole 30-45 minutes of warm-up activation and it's just less time overall is spent at the gym. So I'm going to do my snatches first and then squats, so I'll be videoing all that for you guys. Now I am going to have French toast and coffee. <laughs> This is Aunt Jemima frozen French toast. It's super easy and tasty, and macros are pretty good on it. Um, I do weigh and measure everything, so it has this sugar-free syrup on it too, and plain black coffee. I weigh everything, but if it comes packaged and it says, like, one serving is one 
piece of toast or one pop tart or et cetera, et cetera. I do not weigh that. There's a lot of people that do, and I think that's really unhealthy behavior and signs of like obsessing over food. So I don't coach that way. Um, if it says it's one item, just eat that one item. If it's a few grams off, it's all going to come out in the wash later with something else that's probably miscalculated. So I don't stress it to that minute of a point. Hey. Listening to the weekend as usual, pretty much always have the weekend, Drake, Future, G E Z. Those are my main guys I like. <laughs> also got some country up in there too though, not gonna lie. Homegrown George Peach. sweet potatoes, skinned them, chopped them up. I'm only weighing them now because this is the only part that's going to be eaten and then I'll just write down that number of grams to input into the recipe to my fitness pal later. Now I have two pounds of chicken breast. If you don't know, now you know. Don't weigh the chicken, I just use the weights that were already on the packages. There might be a more accurate way to do it as I did discard some of these, whatever it is, and the chicken, the lines, and the chicken, that's so gross. Tendons, I guess. So it is a little bit less than that, but whatever. I'm the only one eating it and I don't care that much. Now I just need to know the total weight of the chicken and I'll do the same with the sweet potatoes. Cooked, because cooked weighs different than raw. Um, I'll already know how much there is for the whole recipe to put in my fitness pal, but I'm doing this now so I know how many grams per tray. So it says 687, so divide by five and that's how much you put in each whole thing. So I'll eat that for lunch every day. Uh, the sweet potatoes and chicken. I pair it with some avocado if I have not had a lot of fat in the morning. Um, I love avocado. I don't eat a lot of greens, so vegetables don't show up too much in my diet, which that's a do as I say, not as I do kind of thing with my clients. The way I put it in my fitness bell is make a new recipe. It's super easy. You just copy and paste the link to the recipe that you used and change around what's different. Um, so instead of three sweet potatoes, I typed in 664 grams sweet potatoes, uh, two pounds of chicken breast. Um, I did a search for alternative for the seasoning and found the exact seasoning that I used. And then changed it from eight servings to five servings. And then you can save it and log it to today. And then I can easily just copy that for the whole week. So it's super simple. So. All the thinking is done for my lunch for the week. Uh, it's high protein, a little bit of fat, which is from the olive oil, which is healthy omegas. Um, good source of carbs from the sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes have good levels of magnesium in them. Um, yeah, so now I will work for a little while, update my clients, and get ready to hit the gym. Oh, 